everybody. My name is Reese Gibson with QTE Manufacturing Solutions, your master cam reseller. Today we're going to talk about the toolpath engrave. There's a difference between engrave and contour. Straight engraving on a flat surface or a contoured surface, you can use contour and basically just use your cutter comp off. It'll run down the center and be sure removing your lead and leads out. The difference between engraving with the contour and the engraved tool path is the engraved tool path assumes a closed boundary. Okay, it will miter the corners. You can actually do a window, window all your letters in if you'd like. And it asks you for an approximate start point and you can click anywhere. Now this thing wants angled tools, chamfer tools, router tools, engraving tools. They have to have an actual taper on them. Okay. I'm going to go get a 90 degree, 90 degree with an uh, eighth inch, or we can get we can get whatever here. We'll just look at something that's pretty decent here. We'll get a quarter inch, quarter inch 90 degree with one thou tip. Okay, you can actually modify this. Now it will use the one thou tip for the step over. Okay, it actually smart enough to figure that one out. The only thing you have to give it is a depth, how deep you want it. And we're going to go negative 50. Okay. Now you can either rough it, you can rough the inside out first. Okay, and then finish. If you look at the path, it basically miters the corners along the edge here. Okay, so you're going to get a sharp corner versus the diameter of the, of the actual. We can back plot this. As you see it raising up in the corners. And we'll go to the verify. Artwork can be pretty fancy here. Okay. If you don't go as deep, basically it finds it basically finds tangent to two lines, walks up and down. Okay. Now if you don't go as deep in the tool pad. Okay, it'll rough out the corners, out the flats. And we'll watch this one run. The depth of your engrave depends on how, how flat the floor will be as far as flat width. So basically it's pretty simple to create some nice letters. So if it, the deeper you go, it will go tangent to the two lines and give you a nice mitered corner. Fancy artwork. Now you can rough with one tool and there's a remachine function in there. So play with your depth to get the desired setting. Now, the inner outer rule applies. Uh, let me describe that. Okay. Right now, it thinks these are all pockets and it has to clean them out. So if I add a chain that any closed loop is inside the outer boundary will be considered an island and it will leave the letter standing at this point. So it's very simple. You add, you add geometry, you add an outside frame. Now when you regen, the letters will be standing. So 
So it's pretty simple to leave letters standing or as them islands and engraving with mitered corners. Fancy artwork can be created. Plaques. And it does a very nice job of it. This can be wrapped on a cylinder as well. Be wrapped around a cylinder, wrapped around a surface. Tool has to be tapered. Thank you for watching. Hope you'd be able to use this toolpath.